Hi, this is Engineering Spark from engineeringspark.com and I'll be leading you through the course. I've been working with the .NET platform since 2003. I've been professionally architecting and implementing software more than 10 years primarily based on the .NET platform. I'm passionate about building rich and powerful applications using modern technologies. I'm a certified specialist in Windows applications and service communication applications by Microsoft. And I'm one of the co-organizers of the Moscow.NET user group in Russia. And here's my teaching approach. No fluff, no ranting, no beating the air, I esteem your time. The course material is succinct yet comprehensive. All the important concepts are covered, particularly important topics are covered in depth. For absolute beginners, I offer my help on Skype absolutely free if requested. Take this course and you'll be satisfied. For the last two decades, computers became faster by increasing the number of CPU cores. However, the fact of having more cores itself doesn't make a computer drastically faster if those cores are not used by software properly. We as software developers should know how to write asynchronous and parallel executing code to make our applications faster and more responsive. This course is all about developing more responsive and fast programs. Multi-threading and parallel computing are topics for those who already have some experience in programming, otherwise you may face difficulties with understanding the content. Anyway, this course covers theoretical foundations of asynchronous programming, including main concepts, processes, threads, and so on, low-level thread API, APM and DAP patterns, task parallel library or TPL, including how to start tasks, how to cancel them, chain, waiting, I.O. based tasks, exceptions handling and other topics. Async and await feature of C Sharp 5. Synchronization, including atomicity, interlocked, monitor, reader writer lock slim, semaphore, synchronization context and deadlocks. Signaling constructs such as auto reset event and manual reset event slim, countdown event and barrier, mutex, spinning including spin weight, spin lock and our own updatable spin. Concurrent collections including immutable stack, queue, list, sets, dictionary, concurrent stack, concurrent queue, concurrent bag, blocking collection and parallel programming including parallel class and plink. To understand the content of this course, you need to know all the basics of c -sharp. Enroll and start learning the foundations of multi-threading and parallel programming in .NET.